Hey guys, Mike Florio here. I'm um, just going to give you a quick overview of SmartPad for Android, which is a uh, application launcher. And um, one of the cool things with this app is you can actually have it set in the notification bar. So you can launch it from pretty much anywhere. And uh, here you've got contacts at the top, applications, toggles, and websites. And the light version, you get to pick just three. Uh, with the full version, which the developers were nice enough to, to let me review here, you can actually add as many as you want. So you just kind of scroll from left to right to go through your different icons and, and items. Uh, and then if you want to add something, you can actually add something right from here. And that'll pull up you know, the list of different things you can add to it. So it's it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of stuff you can add. Um, you can also launch it if you don't want it in your notification bar. You can also launch it as a uh, you know, standard icon, of course, and that'll pull up the launcher. Uh, one thing I don't like is when you click on a contact, instead of just pulling up their phone, or I mean their uh, list, it actually puts the number in as if you're going to call them real quick. So I mean it's, it's good for speed dial, but um, I actually prefer when I click on their uh, contact to bring up their con contact card, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. Let's um, show you the configuration setup here. So in your tray, you'll get a couple different icons. You'll get one for the actual launcher and one for the settings. So this is the uh, settings here. You can add, of course, like I said, contacts, applications, toggles, websites. And uh, when you click that, that'll bring up all your applications and boom there we go and then you just you know if you want to add something let's see I wanted to add music uh, just check it uh, if I wanted to add uh, contacts we just check it and we hit the back button and the back button and then now we can launch it either like I said from the launcher bar and let's see applications they should be in there now Whoop. There we go. Music and contacts. That's what I just added. Um, the nice thing about this is if you're in an application, uh, let's just pull up the browser, and you want to quickly launch something different, you know, you, it's just a drag and a drop. Boom. And then you can go into what you want, and then when you close the launcher, it brings you right back to where you were. So it's very nice for multitasking, uh, very easy to get around. Um, it's, a, it's definitely a worthwhile app. So check out the re rest of the review at mikeflorio.blogspot.com or head on over to androidcommunity.com and check out the review there. Thanks for watching.